Hi, Curtain Text here with a video showing how to configure Linux MX 19.3 ready for compiling Linux from scratch 10.0. So although I've given specific versions for the host and Linux from scratch, um, the method I'm going to show here um, should work for just about any version, um, even if the packages which I show I'm going to install uh, already installed or there are other packages then um, it should be easy to adapt this method so specifically what this is about is to um, show how we get the um, host which is MX in this case to a suitable standard for compiling Linux from scratch and this is laid out in chapter 2.2 .2 of the Linux from scratch book so if I actually go to that page I can show you specifically what I'm talking about Let's put this over here read online stable so it's this chapter here 2.2 .2, host system requirements where it lists all the packages that a host system must have and the minimum versions and there's a script here which you can copy and paste into the terminal which runs the checks and produces a report so if I get a terminal up and I'll just make the font a little bit bigger and become root Oops. Um, what I've got is I've actually got this script already as a file on a separate partition so I'm just going to mount that first and then I'll be able to run it so normally you just copy and paste this script into the terminal it would create the file for you and then you can run it as you like it's just I've done that bit already so you can see it's um, come up with some results and you can see probably already that there's some things missing um, the first thing to note uh, the error that bsh does not point to bash so that's the first thing we've got to fix and the best way to do this although there's several ways of changing the shell uh, the best way to do this is to use the ln command the link command um, with svf which is for a sim link or a soft link V is for verbose, so we can see what it's doing, and F is to force the change. So, on to link user bin bash to bin sh. So that's done. So, if I rerun the script now, you can see the error message is gone and as I've just done, bin, I've linked bin sh to the actual program bash in user bin. So the next one we've got is bison is missing. Now, um, one thing we'll do here, you could uh, install all the missing commands, so bison m4, make info. It may be best sometimes just to install individual packages because sometimes bison might bring in m4 or make info. So. Um, it might just be a little bit easier to understand what's going on. So to install that from the command line, you may find, you, well, you could do this from the graphical window. I'm sure you can. I don't know MX very well, but I'm sure you can do. But Linux from scratch is all about typing commands on the command prompt, so it's a good, good little bit of practice to do uh, this installation on the command prompt. Um, so you can actually see there it says that it's going to pull in M4 anyway so after we've run this install bison this um, command not found for M4 should also disappear because it's been pulled in as well ok just wait for that to finish installing and I'll rerun the script and you can see as I said the M4 has been pulled in so it doesn't need to be installed separately now. So the only one we've got left now is Make Info. Um, now Make Info is actually a program, so if you try to install that, it probably wouldn't work because Make 
info is part of another package called text info and because we deal with packages when we're installing um, software it's the package name that we need to know which as I say is text info so we'll just install that and it will put in the program make info So that's that, we can run the script for one last time and you can see all the errors have gone now. So thing to do is just quickly go through here, make sure everything's resolved. Yeah, it looks like it is. And the next thing you do now is to um, compare the versions that are on that screen there and compare them with the versions in the book. Just make sure they're newer. I'm sure they will be if there's... Um, host is the latest version and it's kept up to date then they, they should be newer and compatible therefore so that's how you prepare MX for building Linux from scratch if you found the video useful please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so to hear about other videos that I produce thanks very much goodbye